Good evening, friends. Welcome back. I just wanted to come on for a few minutes. I just felt the presence of God moving and I just felt led to bring this scripture out of Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. So what are you thinking on tonight? I feel like there's somebody that's got their mind on a lot of stuff tonight. Sometimes our minds can get so worked up like the mouse and the wheel going around and around and around. It happens to me, but I just feel like, you know, God wants to come and renew your mind tonight. He wants to give you peace. Even in the midst of the storm, in the midst of a negative report, in the midst of that relationship that's in turmoil or those children that are doing the wrong thing. You know, it happens. But he's saying, what, what are you thinking on tonight? Because I feel like the Lord is saying to somebody right now, he wants you just to lay it all down so that his peace can come. He wants you to think on good things. You know, in church this morning, we were talking about um, the things that we focus on is what we manifest. If we're walking around focusing on a bunch of negative things, then those are the things that are gonna manifest. If we're walking around in fear constantly about this or that, that's probably what's gonna manifest. But if we shift our focus back on the things that are good, the things of God, the things that are lovely and pure and noble and just and praiseworthy and of good report, then that's what we're going to manifest. You know, he says to think on good things, to focus on him. Sometimes we can get caught up, focused on the storms, you know, focused on all the bad things around us that we forget. And it takes our focus off God, the one who wants to come in and do a great work in those storms. The one who wants to give us peace right now. He's already given us peace, but sometimes we forget and we get off track and we just have to stop and realign ourselves. So sometimes I just say, Lord, put me back into alignment. I just feel off balance right now. So if you feel that way, you can just stop right where you are. You know, whether you're in your car, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, you know, at your house, wherever you are. You know, he just wants you to shift your focus and lay it down. Take a deep breath. Soak in some worship music if you have to. But just think on good things. He's a good God. And I just pray right now that you just can take a deep breath and let it out. Sometimes we have to just release things to the Lord. Cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. And he cares about those situations even more than you do. He wants things to be right. He wants things to be good. He wants restoration. He wants love. He wants unity with his people, families, children, churches. He wants unity because great things happen when there's unity. So we have to start by being in unity with the Father, by being in unity with God so that we can walk in unity with others and have peace within, peace with ourselves. When we have peace with ourselves, we have peace with others. So I just pray right now, whoever's watching and 
You just need a touch from God right now, right where you are. I just pray, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, that you touch that person, that you touch that man or that woman or, or that young person right now, that youth, whoever, whoever you are. I just pray a blessing over your life right now. And I just speak life. I speak life. I speak healing. I speak peace. I speak blessing. I speak love. I speak grace upon grace upon grace. I speak strength right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, Father, I just pray for a heavenly touch right now. Right now, wherever my friend is, right now, a heavenly touch from a heavenly Father who loves you. He loves you. He loves you. You know, in all the messages, the most important thing is that he loves you. He loves you. So I just pray this blesses you tonight. In the name of Jesus, you will overcome. Start speaking life over your mind, peace over your mind, over your body. You know, whatever's tormenting your mind tonight, there's times that I've had to rebuke that tormenting demon, that lying, mind-binding spirit. Get off my mind in the name of Jesus because I have the mind of Christ and I bless my mind that I walk in power, love, and sound mind. Bless your mind tonight that you walk in power and love and of a sound mind. God did not give you a spirit of fear. He didn't put anxiety on you but that you have the mind of Christ. Decree it, declare it, breathe it, live it. You have the mind of Christ. So I thank you, Lord, tonight that you bless your people with peace over their minds, that, that you will realign whatever's out of alignment for them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just release the angels from heaven. I just say, angels, go and, and minister and surround and take charge over your people, your children, your daughter, your son right now. Right now in that room where they are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence, Father. Thank you for your goodness, God. Thank you that you're visiting your children tonight. Thank you that you're bringing peace. You're ending the day with peace. That everything the enemy meant for evil today, God's going to turn it for good. He's going to turn it for good in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, right now. Mm. Just let his spirit wash over you. Just sit and let him come. Mm. There is fullness of joy in the presence of God fullness of joy so I pray that your joy will be full I pray that any turmoil you had today it's gone now tonight it's finished it's over fresh new week fresh new start a new beginning praise the Lord well I pray that you're encouraged I thank you friends and family for watching my channel Leave me comments if you have testimonies, if any of these words have, have confirmed anything in your life or something amazing happened. Share with me. I want to hear. I want to hear. I want your prayer request. I'm praying for y'all. I love you guys. And I'll be back soon.